So why is Walmart secretly and quietly closing a lot of their stores? When, in fact, per a lot of different articles that I have been reading, that I have right here, that I'm going to put in the description below so you can read the whole thing, more wealthier people are shopping at Walmart now than ever before in history, which pushed their gross income in last quarter up 8.2% over year to year in 2022. The results pushed them over the edge, and they're going to beat the Wall Street analyst expectations by pushing Walmart stock up 6%. They're crushing Amazon. Walmart has become king. So why are they closing these stores? All through times are tough. Consumers desire for value of low prices is playing right into Walmart's hand, quote unquote. Particularly on groceries, which account for more than a half of its sales out of all of its stores. The company said it is making strong grocery share gains, including from high income households. They are controlling the market now. They have got what they wanted. In its latest sign, the highest inflation in decades is altering shopper spending habits, including wealthier customers. Food prices have increased over 11.1% year to date. And Walmart said that its private brand sales grew 80%, a signal that customers are switching from higher price brand names to the cheaper store name brands. There was a huge decline and a lost money in different categories, including electronics, home, and apparel. Walmart said it had to mark down prices on many of these items to entice shoppers to buy them during the holiday season, hurting its profits so they can make even more money if we weren't in the boat we were in because now they're controlling everything. Many retailers are oversupplied and promoting more products than ever than they were a year ago because they have all this stuff from last year. And that's what they're going to be putting out this year. They're not going to be buying a lot of new stuff. I've already seen them in my Walmart store. They're putting out different types of products because Christmas is over. They're filling these different areas and they're trying to move all this product and stuff and putting it out for clearance, discounted prices, or whatever else. Walmart also, the top retailer, is forced to deny it was closing, it is now being replaced by Walmart's rival and huge expansion food discount stores. Now what's taking place here is Walmart is getting more competition from Aldi's. And Aldi's is starting to buy up the Joanne Fabrics store because Joanne Fabrics are closing a lot of their stores as we speak. And in different towns and cities, Aldi's have found that those are the perfect size store for them. So they're purchasing these stores once they're empty and they're putting Aldi stores in there. They have planned to put in a whole hell of a lot of stores this coming year, folks, and for Aldi's. So you may be getting one in a town or city near you. A whopping 86.3% of low-income shoppers buy all their groceries and stuff at discount stores. And 34.7% of consumers said that they would increasingly shop in value stores if this inflation persists, according to the study. There has been a lot of different uh, um, things that have been going on with Walmart since we last talked. Walmart was also caught doubling the tax of people. Now, you all need to be really paying attention to this, okay? So this way here, you got to start checking your receipts, folks, all right? You really do, all right? This took place out in Kansas. And there has been a few reports 
in other states. Walmart said that they have worked on and correcting this problem, but I would still highly suggest check your receipts and these people give you an idea of exactly what to do, so pay attention. The repair of, there was a couple that left furious that they were claimed that they were taxed twice on their bill, their grocery bill. They added, when we got home and started doing the math, they ended up charging us double tax on all the food is what it boils down to in the end. Meanwhile, this person called on customers, listen close, to separate their food items from non-fresh products when it comes to scanning them. She called on all customers to check the receipts each time they shopped. Other shoppers have claimed that they have were double taxed also and some said that they have got their money back after complaining. So you need to pay attention to that folks. All right. Walmart customers slam store closures. Here we go folks. Walmart, a lot of the customers are really getting ticked off and the CEO has threatened to shut down stores due to the rising theft problem. Now a lot of people also do believe that the theft problem is all part of the self-checkout. Retail crime went up 26% last year in Walmart. Officials are warning that the major changes could take place. If that's not corrected soon, the CEO from Walmart said, over time prices will go higher for every Walmart store and every consumer and they will close all the stores that have high retail theft. That could be a lot. All right? You think about how many stores there are. That could be a lot of stores. But like I said, a lot of people believe that the whole problem is, is a self-checkout. Put in the comments below what you think. If you think the self-checkout has been the demise of the high retail theft in Walmart, what's your opinion? One person was quoted saying, because unpaid workers have no incentive to do their jobs well and scan every item. They're talking about you and me. Now I have used their self-checkout. I'm sure many of you out there have. The National Retail Federation found that the retail shrinkage and loss of inventory from things other than sales now amounts to nearly a hundred billion dollars a year and it's one big problem. It's unclear whether or not self-checkouts in many of these different types of stores is to blame for this issue. Major retailers including Walmart has also been heavily criticized for keeping a growing number of items under lock and key to reduce the theft. But the prices are still going up as far as how much money they're losing. Stores like Walmart, CVS, and Walgreens are placing products behind plexiglass, causing shoppers to wait longer and wait to get their razors and all their different perfumes and all this different type of stuff because they have to wait for somebody to come with the key. But this is the times we live in, folks. It is estimated that Walmart loses as much as $3 billion a year due to theft, according to Walmart. Now there's a huge Walmart update that will be changing the way that you shop forever. And it's going to cost you more money if you're not prepared. And what we're talking about is Walmart is doing away with their paper and plastic bags. All right? You're going to have to start bringing your own bags. They started rolling this out across the country. It's coming to a store near you really soon. So pay attention because it will be here before you know it. All right, reusable bags can be bought in the store for 77 cents, up to $3.98 a bag, depending on the size. Now, the reason they're doing this is, all right, Walmart announced it was joining the Beyond the Bag initiative. Walmart joined Target and CVS as founding partner in a three-year incentive that being led by the closed-loop partners. 
but Walmart has its own goal to achieve zero waste in its operations in the United States and Canada by 2025. The company is working with suppliers to use less packaging, designed for recyclable, and improve waste reduction systems according to its website. Walmart has shared a list of actions that they are working on to achieve this zero plastic waste, which includes optimizing product packaging at Walmart and beyond, using less plastic and aiming for 100% reusable, recyclable, or industrial compostable packaging. They're also trying to reduce the reliance of plastic bags, engaging customers to reduce, reuse, and recycle, reducing operational waste. So in the end, folks, all right, you need to make sure that what you're doing a few things here. You got to make sure that you are paying attention to your bill. You're paying attention if you're getting taxed twice. Be aware that one of these days they're going to be rolling in and they're going to start charging you for bags. So you may want to start buying your own bags now. Get ahead of the game. Now, just remember, you can use other store bags like we have all these bags and stuff, you know, so I'll just take those into Walmart. I don't care. You also have to make sure that you are paying attention to a lot of the different products that you are buying because a lot of stuff is not priced correctly. And you might want to be looking for some good deals. If you're looking for stuff, well, they're bringing all the stuff back from last year. I'm sure maybe you can find a good deal on something old. Something new hasn't arrived yet because they have to get rid of the old first. This has been an update on what's been going on in Walmart over the last few weeks. I will post in the links below all, to all these different articles where I got this information so you all can go in and read it for yourself. I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I am happy to be back with my weekly video. What's going on? Because you know what, folks? We all have to pay attention. It affects all of us. It's going to cost us more in the long run. And we need to be prepared. Make sure you tune in this week because there's a few good videos that are coming out. Do you all know that there are a ton of stores that are closing, not just Walmart. Some are closing down everything. Coming to a town near you. So you all stay safe. You keep prepping. And until next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side.